Pullman Stewart is in lane number five, NC State. And then you have two Cal Bears in the championship final, Zing Kwa and Ryan Hoffer, side by side, lane two and three. Kwa, a junior, Hoffer, a sophomore. And we already saw what Hoffer could do in the 53. So and side by side, is that an advantage for Cal? I, I don't think it makes a difference because Butterfly, you're kind of looking straight ahead. You can feel the presence of the other swimmers, but certainly as teammates, you're together behind the blocks. You know each other so well. There is a lot of speed in this final. Five guys were out in 21 flat or better the first 50. Big race for Cal. They're a little thin as they move forward, so they need to score as many points as possible in this race to maintain that lead over Texas. Free limbs, Lanza was about a quarter of a second faster than Coleman Stewart. And Benny pumping himself up, looking at his team as he does so, gaining inspiration from his Hoosier teammates. Lanza, the top qualifier, is in lane number four in the white cap. Stewart, watch out for him too. He's right underneath in lane number five. He's got a tough double tonight. He could pull the upset. So could Hopper. Both of them have tremendous speed. Lanza has the best first 50 and second 50, though. That's the key. Now we'll be talking more about Coleman Stewart in lane number five with the dark camp a little bit later on because he'll be trying to defend the title in the 100 back. Meanwhile, Benny Lanza of Indiana. Ryan Hoffer of Cal had the lead at the turn in the yellow cap, lane three, toward the top, trying to keep up with Lanza and Stewart. 20.5 on Hoffer. Remember, Lanza has a great back half. And so does Stewart. Benny Lanza, Coleman Stewart, Stewart of NC State. It's Lanza who has it. He outtouches Stewart by nine one hundreds. Benny Lanza is an NCAA champion. What a race. What a race between two th these two guys. They they were so quick. Lanza was out in 20.6. Coleman out in 20.7. They both came home in 23.7. A difference of three one hundredths of a second separated those two swimmers the last 50. Actually, Coleman was out back faster the second 50 by three one hundredths. Look right here. Uh, Hoffer, right above them, had the fastest first 50. He had a lot of speed. He ends up fading to seventh. That hurts Cal a little bit. Actually, Cal finishes sixth and seventh. So that hurts them just a touch when you're talking about moving down as far as seeded points. But Lanza, the senior, what a way to go out with a win. Nine one hundredths. And he is the fifth fastest man in history in this 